This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. Looking for some Rebel Clash boosters? No problem, they got your back and deliver the codes instantly. So definitely check them out at PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, if you're from Europe, be sure to check out CardMarket.com. This is the best place for you to get physical cards. You can buy cards from people all across Europe as well as sell cards yourself. It's the best platform for buying and selling physical cards in Europe and I personally use it every single day So be sure to check out the website if you haven't already cardmarket.com What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today it's time for uh, Tapu Koko V to shine. We're gonna be using ADP with Tapu Koko. This is a list we've seen on uh, Limitless TCG, so it's uh, doing very well. Got day two at a qualifier from Limitless TCG, so it, do, it does something well. We have Alter Creation Jags, the most busted GX move you'll ever see. Take an additional prize cards for the rest of the game and also smack an additional 30 damage. Additional 30 damage with Tapu Koko V is nothing to sneeze at because with Electro Power and that additional damage buff and Vitality Band, you're gonna be, you're gonna be hitting those huge one-head KOs with Tapu Koko V. We can accelerate energies thanks to Tapu Koko Prism Star and we even have a one prizer in the form of my favorite Pokemon, Zapdos. Uh, so you can actually take down those uh, Jirachis very nice and easily like that. Other than that, straightforward, it uh, does run a huge amount of Rainbow Brudge, believe it or not, to switch the energies around. So you can use Tapu Koko Prism Star, accelerate to the uh, ADP, and then uh, use Rainbow Brush to switch it around. So that can mean you can use Ultra Creation Jacks as soon as your first turn if you go second. With the help of Acrobikes and of course Jirachis, we're gonna try and get this Ultra Creation off and see what it brings us. So very nice list all around. It's a lightning deck with the support of ADP. So Rainbow Brush, you don't see that card very often, but it switches a basic energy attached to one of your Pokemon with another basic energy in your deck. And if you guys are not familiar with Tapu Koko, it's max 200 damage for only 3 energies or only 1 energy if you're allowed Tapu Koko Prism Star as well as Thunder Mountain. Just need to, be, need to be finding the list because I have so many decks up here and uh, it's sometimes hard to find. Okay, that's uh, it's all the front. Of course, it always happens like that. So if you are excited for this video, be sure to mouse the like button and let's get the show on the road with Tapu Koko featuring ADP. ADP saw a huge decline in play in, of course, the latest tournaments because people grabbed the turbozation, but we'll see what it does. This looks to be like a turbozation to me, so Tails never fails, let's go. We lost the coin flip, doesn't matter, the opponent will go first and maybe we can get Ultra Creation GX off as soon as possible. So we'll see what it brings. Nothing, the opponent will see like what? Rainbow Brush? We even have counter game by the way if we're behind in price cards. If our ADP sees the discard pile, it doesn't matter at all. Opponent gets a mulligan. Definitely not what you want to see, right? Okay, there's Jirachi. There's a research. Okay, I love this already. So we have Oranguru, we have Jirachi, we can slap down Thunder Mountain. So we, we can actually save Thunder Mountain if I'm being honest. Okay, he's using Fion. He can retreat and use Fion on us which would be detrimental to say the least but nothing we can handle right we have the water energy the only thing we need to find is like an ADP we can also use like yeah we need two quick balls to get this going or cherish ball and quick ball we'll see what it brings there's Jirachi yeah he's probably gonna Fiona's ah how dare he Fiona's come on do it we're ready friend ball station Zacian or Oranguru? It's Zacian. Zacian with Intrepid Sword. Cool. Nothing we've seen before though. He doesn't know what we're playing yet. Maybe he thinks it's also Turbo Zacian and we're playing some scoop up nets. I would personally play down the Fion if I were there. If I were him. But we'll, uh, we'll see how, what it brings. Okay, the good news is after we use Ultra Creation GX, we can immediately uh, only knock out two Zacian and uh, we should be good by then. Energy Spinner, Attachment and Intrepid Sword. Energy Spinner. Getting himself a Metal Energy. Energy Spinner will see more play, I think. It's a good card. Attachment, come on, use Intrepid Sword. Leave my Oranguru where it's at. Don't use the Fion. Just Intrepid Sword for now. Come on, do it! Okay, just Intrepid Sword. 
that's fine. What now? So, in this scenario, oh, Chapel Coco Prism Star instantly popping up. We need that. Also, I'm gonna use Stellarish first, see what we get. We get the Quick Ball, so that's awesome. That's ridiculously awesome, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna Quick Ball. We're gonna get rid of, yeah, Erica. Finding ourselves ADP. We can still use uh, the, the Dane later, so it doesn't matter. So, ADP. Attachment of the turn. This Tapu Koko Prism Star. Uh, yeah, I want to dig deeper into the deck, so I'm gonna slap down Turner Mount. Maybe this list does not run stadiums as we've seen before. Research. Okay, there's no lightning energy in this card pile just yet. But we can make sure we can do that thanks to the Dene. Uh yeah, what else? Just don't want to throw away my vitality band just yet. Quick ball again. Double quick balls all around. Alright. At this stage. We can just use quick ball. We have the boss doors. I don't think we'll need that right now. Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco. Counter gain on Tapu Coco V. Looks okay to me. If we get knocked. I don't think we'll get knocked out though. Don't think we'll get knocked out. This guy automatically snaps 210. We still have another one ready. Oh yeah, they automatically can see. What is this? We would have gotten out the combo. Yeah, use all the creation GX on the first turn. How ridiculous is that, folks? We could have used it thanks to Rainbow Brush. We would have probably drawn into it because we had the Danny GX. So that's gonna be fantastic. Using Ultra Creation GX has never been that easy. It's with Tapu Coco though. So uh, also you don't uh, want your Tapu Coco uh, Prism Star to be prized. But sometimes it is what it is. Okay, you're ready for some more games with this crazy funky list. We are up against... Fire, Psychic, Darkness. Don't know what this is. We'll f figure it out very shortly. We lost the coin flip. We don't mind that. We don't mind that at all. Either we knock something out with Zapdos and use Alter Creation next turn, or it is what it is. Whoa, we probably have to rely on Spike Draw or whatever. We don't have a good hand. Maybe Quick Ball can save that, or Cherish Ball, drawing us a bazillion amount of cards. Uh, also, uh, Orangaroo saves things like Electro Power, if you're uh, wondering why Orangaroo is in here. We go second, we have access to two Stellar Witch. Okay, Baby Blounds with the Galarian Zigzagoon in there. Interesting. Probably not be playing Beastbringer anymore, right? Hopefully. This is a difficult matchup. Because we need to either rely on Marnie to just put him at a low hand size or just use Alter Creation GX instantly. Either way, it's pretty grim. Attachment of the turn. There we go. Oh! We could be doing it differently, though. We could be doing it differently. We could go and dunk this fella with, of course, Thunder Mountain and uh, Tapu Coco Prism Star. Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain, attach of turn. Oh, so many options. We could dunk him. Do we go for the dunk or not? Thunder Mountain. One quick ball is all we need, right? Not gonna be doing that. It's a little bit risky. It's a little bit risky. Jirachi. Quick ball. Get rid of that. Tap Goku Prison Star is at life. Ta da! Right here. ADP. Then, yeah, we will use Marnie in a scenario like this. Tap Goku Prison. Can accelerate to two targets at once. And we're gonna go with Marnie. Maybe we can get at the Dene. And go from there. Okay, there is a Dedenne. As well as... Switch. To be using multiple Stellar Wishes at once. Maybe. If we find... If we use the Dedenne right here... Ah, Electro Power. Dedenne time? Maybe we could also go for the dunk, by the way, if we find Thunder Mountain. We Rainbow Brush. Fantastic. Okay. What I want to do is going to go for Ultra Creation GX instantly. We're going to go with the Dance of the Ancients. 
And we're going to select our two Pokemon here in this list. That's what I want to showcase here. Both of these. We marnied him as well, so that's busted. There we go. Next up, we use the uh, Viridian Forest. Getting ourselves... Uh, yeah, what do we need? Vitality Band is useless. Let's get rid of it. And getting ourselves a Water-type Energy. With this, we can just safely use the Water-type Energy and use the Rainbow Brush on this guy for the Lightning Energy and swap it to the Metal Energy. So that is the true scenario, what you want to be in. And then now, at this stage, we can just simply retreat and get Ultra Creation GX off in no time. Yeah, if we survive, it's going to be huge for us. So let's go. Ultra Creation GX. And with Viridian out, we can definitely find an energy. I know Viridian helps him out as well. To find an extra energy. But probably with like the fire every flints and all that, he probably already has that. Okay, also we can come with one prizers like Zabdos can dish out with one Electra Power knocking out this uh, Blacephalon. So we don't always need our two prizer to be honest. A lot of two prizers in the field though. Four cards. He weldered already. He, he needs to have six energies in hand. Or energy retrieval. Getting one. Is that enough? Or maybe he wants that to discard it. Quick ball. Okay. No bosses orders for sure. Is he going to go for the Dene? Oh, Tapu Fini? Whoa. What's going on? Quick ball again. Getting rid of the Tapu Fini. Oh yeah, he's thinning out the deck. He's going to go for the Dene. Yeah, the Denny will need to be fine. There's no energies in the discard pile. Zero. So he will need to find an energy in hand and a fiery flint. Will that be the case? Will our ADP go down? He already used boss order, so at least that's fine. Although he can use also Cramorant, which is scary. There's a fiery flint for sure. And he got rid of energy. So we are pretty much screwed over instantly. He doesn't have Yorachi just yet, so at least that's good. Heat Factory, getting rid of, oh, he just draws so much, so much, but we saw that Ultra Creation Jax on the first turn is busted, busted indeed. We're going to be using the, probably the Zapdos in this scenario, Fireball Circus, he takes three price cards, that's scary, look at that, getting rid of all these energies, he gets three price cards, it's not with Beastbringer though, so at least we have that going for us, this the Dan is also... A liability since he can use um, the Denny on it. Alright, here we go. We have an energy. That's the wrong energy though. Yeah. Let's get our good friend Zebdos in place. Oh yeah, we have another Denny. Maybe we should wait. Oh yeah, there's still Quick Balls and all that good stuff left. Maybe Thunder Mount, maybe Viridian. Yeah, we have lots of outs with the Stellar Wish. Stellar Wish! Yeah, lots of outs. Look at that. Research. Research it is. Zapdos. Electra Power. Research. Here we have an energy. And even Viridian Forest. But Viridian Forest does get um, extra energies. Which is something we don't want. Retreat. Zapdos. Take the KO. Right now. Okay. We take two prize cards though. We take two prize cards. Oh, all right, at this stage, a Tap Coco V can attack instantly with Thunder Mountain. Probably, do we have Marnies? We need to Marnie him at one point and knock him out. Yeah, he's drawing so many cards right now. 10 energies in his discard pile. He needs to discard 3 to knock out a Zapdos. He needs to Welder onto either Blacephalon or a Cremorant. But we will Marnie him instantly. Energy Retrieval. Quick Ball. Hmm. Yeah, the Danny also looking pretty fragile here. Ah, the Oricorio. Not what you want to see. Dance of the Tributes. Look at that. Drawing like bazillion cards. Very tough matchup for us. But we already showcased that we can use Ultra Creation GX on the first turn. So I'm glad I was able to do that. All right. Opponent is thinking. Okay, Galarian Zigzagoon. 
putting the damage, actually the HP of Zapdos down. Oh, he's just gonna go for the Dedenne instead. Does he have Great Catcher? If he has Great Catcher, we're done for. Okay, just Blazer? What? What's going on here? We have Switch, so what we need to do is go on the offensive ASAP. So, we can switch and... Yeah, Zapdos will need to find an Electro Power. So we attach here. We switch there to the Jirachi. I don't know what he did, but it was a horrible, horrible mistake. Either we Marnie... Uh, the only thing we need to find is like... An Electro Power, right? Is there Electro Power left in the deck? There's two Electro Powers left and Thunder Mountains in here as well, so... Let's do go with that. Also going to be using the Viridian Forest, getting rid of the Rainbow Brush. Finding a Metal Energy, actually a Water Energy, and just discarding it with Research. There we go. It doesn't have Welder, which was insane. Okay, here's the Electro Power again. Electro Power and Tapu Koko is looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Okay, also uh, the Vitality Band does help, so, so we don't need to use any of that weird stuff. Thunder Mountain even better retreat to the Zapdos and we have boss orders in hand so this is looking like a very great hand to be honest yeah. slapping this down maybe another Zapdos could be nice I don't need that water energy for sure Orangaroo yeah cool and Vitality Band will not be necessary at the stage Kacha! Zabdo is taking the prize cards here. Fantastic. So we oh yeah, here's Zabdos. Even if he knocks us out, we have a Zabdos and a Thunder Mountain and a Vitality Band. And that it's perfect math. To knock out baby blounts. Yeah, he whiffed on the welder right here. There was uh, so many cards in his hand, did not get the welder. And we get take additional prize cards every single time with Zabdos. Very nice. Okay, Ordinary Raw, shuffling some stuff back. At this stage, we only need to knock out a simple Zigzagoon, and we can do that with boss orders, and it's gonna be lit. Fire energies get shuffled back. Hey, I wonder why he whiffed that Welder. Maybe it was priced? Too priced? Maybe one of the bottom of the deck? It could be the case. Tishi Joe shuffles happen like that. Tishi Joe shuffles happen like that. Alright, let's see here. Mm, yeah, there's, there's not a lot we need to do here. Just have boss's orders ready to take the game. Will he be able... Yeah, his blazer was successful, which was very funny. Okay, Ultra Space. Blasophilon GX, maybe? Maybe we're stuck? of the tributes. Does he have a reset stamp or anything to just mess with our hands even though we have two Jirachis ready? Yeah, this lightning deck is so legit. Rainbow Brush OP to use Ultra Creation Jax on the first turn going second. That's why there's also two Dedenne in here so you can uh, find it way more easier. There's Cremorant. Oh yeah, Cremorant is going to snipe and leave our Zabdo stuck in the active. Which is annoying. The only thing we need is like one energy, right? Attachment, retreat, Thunder Mountain, boom. Yeah, that's what we need. And with Erika, we'll, we're gonna be able to draw that. No problem. We also have a Rangaroo, so we can dig a lot of cards deep with Acrobike, Erika. Okay. He's gonna go with the Snipe mechanic, leaving Zabdu stuck. It's probably the best plan in his eyes. It is the best plan. Because we're still not out of the woodworks just yet. We just need one attachment and we should be good. Do we even have some switching cards left? The Dene is gone. He takes two prize cards. Probably gonna be taking... <laughs> well played. Look at all these cards in his hand. Insane. Okay. Thunder Mountain. Vitality Band. Uh, do we have research left? Don't know, but this guy has a lot of Pokemon. 
Oh yeah, we even have a switch left, so we didn't even need it. Well played. Here comes Tapu Koko with the thunderous bolt. 480 damage, insane. Okay, look at that. This deck is legit. We're gonna be playing one more game with this list. And uh, it should be good, right? It should be uh, okay. One more game with Tapu Koko V and ADP. I think Tapu Koko is pretty much underrated. This deck is legit. It works pretty well. Definitely against like one prize should use Zapdos with Vitality Band to hit 120, the magical number. Magical number indeed. You always have to be afraid of like if a blound player plays Beastbringer, then you're done for presumably, but it's fine. Psychic, Darkness, Scarless, Lightning, hello Dracapult. Uh, we won the coin flip. We're gonna go first against Dracapult. That means they're a little bit behind. Look at that. ADP instantly. Attachment of the turn instantly. We will be okay. Maybe it's Picaron. Picaron sleeves. It's Mewtwo. Mewtwo of all things. Just an attachment over here. We're gonna go with Quick Ball. Quick Ball to Danny. We're gonna wait with the Quick Ball. Just check, check this out here. We have Erika's Hospitality or Cherish Ball. It's fine either way. I wonder if it's gonna be able to attack on the first turn. Probably not, right? Quick Ball, throwing this away. Getting Chapu Coco Prism Star. That is priced. Okay, it is priced. Ladies and gentlemen. So I think we will need to play a little bit more aggressively because Tapu Koko is priced. And finding that water energy is not the simplest task in the world. Cherry Ball. The Dene. Now we're actually going to be saving the Electro Power. Now what do we got in return? A Quick Ball. Quick Ball. Another Jirachi. Setting that up is fine. Jirachi, switch, and then Dedene. Look at that. Okay, here's the Rainbow Brush, or even the classic Water Energy in hand. Insane. Stellarish time, and we have a switch for next turn. So, Ultra Creation Jax will be live next turn. And then we just need to save all of our Electro Powers and just go crazy on the opponent. I like this. I like this a lot. So we use Ultra Creation GX and then we take out a Mewtwo and a Dedenne. That's how things typically go. ADP will maybe survive, but if he has Welder build, I don't know if this is the Welder build or not. I think this is the Malamar build. Or Horror Psychic Energy as well. Ooh, Marnie. Okay, there goes all of our good cards, like Rainbow Brush and even the physical one. Okay, it's even better. It is even better. We are going to be attaching here. We're going to use Stellar Wish first because that means our switch gets shuffled back to a decent position. So we Stellar Wish, then we Acrobatic, then we Research, then we get this Jirachi out of the active position and use Alter Creation GX. This person may be using uh, Incase or Dedenis. I had to guess Dedenne, seeing as he only has three cards in his hand. Maybe he has Dedenne in the hand. I wonder. Get out your Inke. Oh, it's Gengar Mimikyu. Oof. What is gonna do with it now? He has one energy right there. Ultra Creation, then Horror House. Yeah, it could be an option. Could definitely be an option. Two tag teams. We can also use Boss's Orders on the uh, Gengar Mimikyu, and then use Ultra Creation. But well, that's probably not a bad, that, probably a bad idea. Here comes the Air Balloon. The Dene time. Okay, what now? No Inkes to be found just yet. This is our win con, by the way. Knocking out Mewtwo, or actually knocking out the tag team and knocking out the Dane. Or knocking out an Inke. Yeah, that can even be better. Horror House. Okay, he's gonna use Horror House GX. Okay, it's fine. We cannot play any cards from our hand, which is horrible. Very horrible indeed. Yeah. Actually, gonna be putting that acrobike back so we have some good consistency cards to work with. Stellar Wish. Yeah, he doesn't knock us out with the Poltergeist, but we at least are gonna be able to use Ultra Creation next turn. Maybe he uses. Yeah, he doesn't have any uh, in case setup, so the only thing he can do is uh, use the Poltergeist, so it's fine. I think I will Marnie the opponent instead, so the opponent is at a low hand size. 
No ink gaze to be found. He could also Marnie us again, so that could be ridiculously sad. Either way, that means we draw into maybe those uh, rainbow energies, rainbow brush, so we can get the energy for ADP. He already uses GX moves, so we don't have to worry about any other GX moves whatsoever. Okay. Mega Loop Honey and Jigglypuff. He's gonna be able to slap a significant amount of damage. We have two of them, that's 180. A lot of damage. At this stage, I don't think we need the Ultra Creation GX for additional prize cards. Actually, for the extra damage, it would be fine though. We have Counter Gain as well. Okay, we have so many cards. Maybe he's gonna go for the Dene. He's doubting between ADP and the Dene. Yeah, he's just gonna slap some damage onto this. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit damage short though. He has giant bombs. Hilarious. Hilarious. Okay. ADP will survive and we will get Elder Creation GX off in no time. Yeah. Either way, we definitely need to set up our Tapu Coco afterwards. So we can one shot these fellas. We smack 230 as a base with Vitality Band and a simple Electro Power. We get there in no time. And there's Inke. This is going to be our game winning scenario. We knock out Mewtwo, we knock out an Inke. The Dene. Yeah, Tap Coco Prism starts. Was it prized? Should check that. Or was it in the previous game? Poltergeist, no! That's a whole heap of damage for sure. Okay. Mm. Using this. Getting that. Acrobike. The boss's order goes away. Tapu Koko is not in here, so this is gonna be a sad scenario. Thunder Mountain, we definitely need to have a lot of stuff right now. We can Marnie, Research. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna Research instead. I know we're losing lots of resources. Probably has switches and arrow balloons anyhow. Okay, Counter Gain could work. Counter Gain could definitely work. Using counter gain, don't know if he's playing tool scrapper or not. The Viridian could work, and then these cards stay letting those stay in the hand. Switch, lightning energy. Okay, here we go. Alter creation GX. We're going to be using uh, Erika, and then we're going to be using the Counter Gain and hopefully find two Electro Powers to make quick work of Mewtwo. That is our only win con because afterwards we need to go after another uh, Pokemon right there. Okay, come on. What is he going to do? Is he going to knock our... Uh, this is definitely a little bit more difficult than the previous matchup. I don't know if we're going to be able to win, but we're going to try our best. You two on the offensive. Maybe he has boss orders and he goes for Tapu Koko V right now. But that means we can use the ultimate ray. What is he gonna do? Marnie? That is not good. Definitely not good. Oh, this is definitely not good. Oh, we do we do have the physical energy, so we need to find Thunder Mountain and lots of electro powers. Or maybe the Erika once again. Oh sad. Sad, sad, sad. Maybe we find Switch and all that. It's gonna be a hard one for sure. We need to find two Electro Powers and we need to be finding our Thunder Mount. A Thunder Mount cannot come and play anymore, so we're pretty much done for. Pretty much done for. There's nothing we can do at this stage because of Chaotic Swell. So this is a perfect counter to us, to be honest. Tapu Koko Prism Star is priced. Otherwise, we could have done something, but thanks to Tapu Koko Prism Star being priced and him having Chaotic Swell and all that. We're gonna be in a tough scenario. We can still use Stingly Return GX. Uh, yeah, we cannot because we already used Alter Creation. Oh, this is game over, fellas. Game over. Why is Tapu Koko Prism Star surprised? And why does this guy play Cadex well? All these questions. 
Typical Mally Mewtwo. Nightwatch. Yeah, we do survive in Nightwatch, to be honest. Yeah, our energy is gone as well. Wow, what are we gonna do about that? Okay, what to do? Erica, well, that's very good. Taking six cards, way. Electro power, that's not what we want. Rainbow brushing that one away. Bzz. Next up. Yeah, there's not a lot we need. Stellar wish. Okay, Viridian Forest, so we can slap down Thunder Mountain next turn. This is definitely an option to go for. Uh, yeah, eat up our Oranguru fella. Friendly Wisdom. What do we get? Okay, these are all terrible cards anyhow. Only having one melee. Can he uh, afterwards get a KO? All of these attackers are garbage though. So if he does... Oh, come on, man. Aww. Another Calyx, well... Well, we can just use Attach and reuse Rainbow Brush, so it's fine. Should be okay. Then we can probably Marnie him to a low hand size and knock him out. That's probably the best bet, right? Probably the best bet. Okay, these guys... <laughs> okay, Marnie goes away. It's fine. And our energy. Insane. What now? Two Electro Powers. Well, at least we have that already. Stellarish. Another Dedenne. Do we even have another Dedenne? Of course we have another Dedenne. It's fine. Okay, I'm going to retreat to this. Use Stellarish. Switch and see what we get here. Another Electro Power. Okay. These are all resources we still need. Switch. Skateboard here and the Denny time. Come on. Okay, there's Thunder Mountain, which is useless at this point. Acrobike. Research. Yeah, that's water energy is not good. How many energies in our discard pile though? Sure. Research. Let's go with... We use two Electro Powers, right? Yeah, and the Ultra Creation Jacks will get us to the number we want. Look at that. Four prize cards. Oh, we have so many items. We have so many items. We should have done something about that. Ah, oh, Polder guys, no. Okay, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Like, four prize cards. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six items. That's well played, man. I, I misplayed here at this point. Imagine we used uh, Switch, Thunder Mountain, and Vitality Band. We would have survived another Electro Power. Oh boy. Poltergeist. Too good. Yeah, either way, this deck has potential. For sure. For sure. With so many cards in hand. Yeah. Electro Power, Switch, Vitality Band, and Thunder Mountain are all cards we could have played down. To actually win ourselves the game. But I was actually not thinking ahead. Not thinking ahead. Yeah. Otherwise, we might have well might as well win. Because we have electro power. This guy is not gonna be doing enough damage as it is. Okay, there's Mewtwo. Maybe the opponent still misplays. Recharges. Onto the Mewtwo. Come on. Don't use poltergeist, but he probably will use poltergeist. Doesn't matter, I was able to showcase Ultra Creation Jax and uh, Tapu Koko working together, as well as Zapdos being able to take cheeky prize cards. If this guy wasn't prized, things would have went way smoother. Treasure? He will still need an energy in the hand though. Maybe he does not have that in the hand. Maybe. What now? Come on. How many energies in here actually? Okay, your opponent just passes. That's it. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, we cannot attack on the next turn, so we can just switch and reset that effect. 
Well played. Wow, we dodged the bullet right here. But definitely get rid of all your trainer cards while you're doing this. Oh yeah, look at that. Top Coco ADP winning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse the like button. Show your support by letting me know what you would change about this list. And uh, what you want to see up next and all that good stuff. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video very shortly. I'm out. Peace.